Hi, I'm Mark. This is my March review for Aries Sunshine and Aries Rising. We're looking for a good month this month because all the planets are direct and we're looking at um, some improvements, some changes coming along and then there's some terrific positive change coming at the end of April which I'll tell you about um, in next month's video. But for now, Mercury starts off the month with an aspect to the Black Moon Lilith. Now, she's in your second house of finances, so this is a good time to get things out in the open regarding your finances. Mercury's in the 11th, that's so also a good time to uh, discuss things with friends, um, but just be wary, there could be um, some obsessions over money, and there could be some negative thoughts or negative feelings towards, towards friends. But then on the second, there's a positive boost because Mercury makes a, a trine aspect to the Moon's North Node. Uh, this is in your third house, so this will boost your um, mental faculties. And also be open for a message on that day uh, because the North Node is our spiritual way forward. Then on the third, Venus makes a nice aspect to uh, Uranus, and it's a good time to uh, try something new. This is an exciting day, you'll be buzzing today. Um, so give something um, a try. We have a good day on the 4th because we've got three things happening that will um, all tie in together. First of all we've got the Sun um, making a positive aspect to uh, the Black Moon Lilith. Now she's in your second house so the Sun will shine a light and illuminate part of the uh, shadow area which is not always visible. Um, Mercury also makes a positive aspect of Jupiter um, and this will help to give you a better understanding of things. And also Mars moves into the third house of Gemini. Um, so here it's a good time to learn things, put all your energy into learning things. So all together, this is a day for tidying up. This is a day for repairing anything that's broken. This is a day for, for sorting out, for men throwing away things that are no longer useful or ideas that are no longer um, current. And form new ideas, take a new stance on things. Um, take a fresh look at an old problem perhaps and, and get it sorted. It's a good day to put a lot of energy into into filling up any gaps in your life, plugging any holes, so that you can move forward with confidence. On the 5th, the Sun makes a square aspect to the Moon's nodes. Now this forms what we would call a T-square, which can be very challenging, but also this is how we gain growth and how we can achieve. So this can be a positive thing. The sun um, will shine its light, connecting the two, uh, the past and the future together. So now it's a good time to analyse and look at things. It's a good time to see what you already have and what you can use um, to further your, your progress into the future. Four days later, Venus makes the same aspect, because Venus and the sun are working very closely together this month. They do come together on the 22nd when they move into your sign. We'll talk more about that later. But for now, Venus can help you to achieve and progress as well. Um, this is a time when you can align yourself with your desires. There may be some things you desire are not in keeping with your soul's growth, so you need to change and transform these and, and align yourself with the North Node, which is that spiritual way forward. Venus can help you do this now. On the 10th, the Sun makes a conjunction with Neptune. This is in your 12th house, the house of the unconscious. Now this can be very uh, productive if you're doing any therapy or if you're delving into the unconscious in any way through uh, meditation or hypnotherapy, this can be very productive um, and you can gain much insight. Um, but there's also a tendency on the other side to uh, escapism and daydreaming and this is, this is a negative manifestation so it's not a good day for for uh, taking alcohol or drugs in any excess. Um, it is very good for spiritual pursuits. Um, you'll be much more sensitive, you'll be more understanding of others, and it's a good day for helping other people. On the 13th, uh, the new moon uh, is in Pisces, and again, it's in your 12th house. This is a time to reflect and to look at the past and, and see how, uh, how things have worked out. Um, maybe it's a good time to let go of some things from the past, let go and throw out some things so that you can um, bring new things in. Also on the same day, Venus uh, conjuncts Neptune. So this is also good for creative and artistic pursuits. It's good for starting new, new projects of a creative or artistic nature. 
and you'll also feel um, very romantic and you'll be, feel very dreamy as well um, with this uh, conjunction. But with the new moon, um, it's always good to put things into, into practice. This could be a time to start some um, spiritual pursuits, maybe uh, do some yoga or some exercise programs. It's a good time to, to look after yourself, to recharge your batteries and to plan what you're going to do to, to uh, benefit your, your body and your mind for the future. On the 16th, there's two positive aspects, one from the Sun uh, to Pluto, a sextile, and the same from Mars to Chiron. Sextiles are creative aspects, so you can, you can work with these energies now. Uh, the Sun is making this aspect of Pluto in your 10th house. This is the area of, of your destiny, this area of your career and of your chosen path. So you can make changes here now. You can um, look at things and see how, how you can improve your life. You can, you can make small changes or big changes, but as long as they're made for the good, they will help to improve your life. Um, with the aspect of Mars, uh, is now in the third house. Um, this is when you can look at anger and think about things, how you behave. This is about your communication as well. Are you over assertive sometimes or are you not assertive enough? It's another opportunity to work with this um, and to make improvements. So all in all, good day for getting to the bottom of things, good day for investigating things and putting things right, having a clear out, having a sort out, wherever it be at work or at home um, or in your head mentally, just get things um, sorted out and cleaned up. There's a deepening of emotions on the 18th because Venus makes the same positive aspect as the Sun did to Pluto. Um, and this time, relationships can be transformative. Um, you can change things, you can enrich your relationships in this, in this aspect. Um, and you'll have a, a strong sense of wanting to belong. If your relationship starts under this uh, aspect, there'll be uh, great intensity. It may not be long-lasting, but they'll be very powerful and, and can be life-changing. Um, friendships can also be developed and enriched under this aspect. So um, work colleagues as well, because Pluto's in your 10th house. You can improve relationships with work colleagues. On the 20th, the sun moves into your sign. Now, this will give you a real boost. Wherever the sun is, um, it creates uh, warmth and creativity. And so you'll be wanting to initiate things now and get on with things. Mars on the same day makes a positive aspect to Saturn. Mars is in your third house. So this is a now a time to get on with any detailed work you have. This is a good time to get tasks finished. Any, any outstanding things you need to do, get them done now. Um, it's also good um, for sorting out your, your dreams and your goals redefining them, put energy into, into looking at them and seeing how, where you can make changes and adjustments. Saturn will allow you to analyse those because he's in your 11th house. Then on the 21st, there's a day when you're going to be upbeat because Mercury makes an aspect to Uranus. Now Uranus is in your second house, so this is a good day to talk about finances and sort any old problems out that have been hanging around. It's also good for new ideas and also good to um, have some excitement. On the 22nd, the Sun and Venus come together in your sign and they're exact for eight days, uh, but they'll continue to go through your sign together. Um, this is good because you've got the creativity of the Sun uh, matched with the attracting power of Venus. So this is great for business, great for finances. This is good for attracting possessions. It's also good for, for socialising and making new friends and, and it's great for relationships as well. So make the most of it. They're together for eight days. Um, we have a little bit of a blip on the 23rd because uh, Mercury makes a square to Mars and this can always cause a little bit of irritability and this Mars in your third house you might get um, a little bit uh, tetchy. On the 25th, for three days, Mars conjuncts the North Node. And this only happens once every two and a half years, so this is going to be quite an auspicious day. And on this same day, uh, Mercury makes a, a square to the Moon's nose. So we can expect uh, your path to open up now, and you'll be able to see clearly ahead. And you may need to make some changes, but do it slowly. Don't be impulsive 
Arians can be quite impulsive sometimes and jump in, but take it slowly, make some changes slowly and things will be good. Um, you're going to learn some things um, that will be very important to your future. So keep your eyes and ears open and take advantage of it. On the 28th there's a full moon. Now the full moon is in Libra, so it also affects you um, with the sun in Aries. Now if you're born between the 25th of March and the 3rd of April, or have a, a rising degree between um, 3 and 13, then it's going to affect you really acutely. Um, what's this one about then? Well this is a very special full moon because uh, the sun is also conjunct Venus and Chiron in your, in your house and your sign. So there's a chance here uh, with this full moon to, to heal any old wounds from the past. Chiron is the wounded healer um, and it's a good time to turn a wound or a weakness into a gift. Use the power of alchemy to transform things. Chiron will help you do that, Venus will help you do that, the Sun will help you do that. Full moon in Libra is also about balance. It's about balancing um, you with others. Um, your needs against others' needs. You'll feel quite emotional um, with this full moon and you'll want to be with people. You'll want to be with your loved ones and care for them. Um, you'll feel quite possessive as well. Um, but it's good to get that balance. This is what Libra is all about. Um, achieving that balance within, within relationships, all relationships, not just, not just your uh, significant ones, all relationships. So this is a very important full moon. Um, there's other aspects as well that might come up. Um, Chiron is the teacher as well as the healer. So there could be active involvement with, with teachers in some, in some way. There's also the aspect of the spirit because the sun represents the spirit. So Chiron here can help heal the spirit. So if you've got any physical illnesses and, and they're not getting any better, you need to seek professional advice at this time. On the 30th, Mercury makes a conjunction with Neptune and this will trigger the imagination. This is good for any artistic pursuits such as uh, poetry and creative writing. Um, it's also good for spiritual pursuits as well. Then on the 31st, the last day of the month, uh, the Sun and Venus contact uh, positively with Saturn. So this is good for business again, this is also good for the arts and the creative side and it's good for getting things done. So it's a good day at the end of the month to get things wrapped up and finished ready for April. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you'd like to see more please subscribe, if you'd like to leave me a comment I'd be glad to hear from you.